Public Streets with Mass Roots Radio. Today I'm coming back with the second of five Better Homes and Gardens garden journals. Uh, once again, you don't have to use this as a garden journal. You can take the dividers out or jazz the dividers up to be something else. Uh, it's a five ring binder. It is a 1968 edition and it will come with a bag of more goodies other than the things that are in the pockets and tuck spots and it will also come with this tie which is two vintage sheets that are sewn together and it is uh, two yards long so you could use this for uh, maybe if you don't want to use it as a wrap you can use it for some of the um, page ruffles or so two of these together make pockets whatever you'd like to do so you've got two two um two yards of that to tie or use it in other ways all right let's just jump right into it let me make sure this is in focus all right so you will see that i have lined the inside front cover uh it was a little dingy so i went ahead and lined it and i do have the original first two pages and what I plan on doing is laminating this and sticking it back in the book. All right, so you'll see I've used tabs on some of the dividers. So you've got your first section, got a couple of goodies here, a nice pocket. All the pockets are sewn. You've got some graph paper, a little bit of uh, the original pages. Got a nice pocket here, another place to tuck something. This is from a vintage book. Some tea dyed pages and hand stamped for notes. Some Edith Holden pages. They're really interesting to read and the pictures are beautiful. And then you have a tuck spot here that you can actually put two things in. And that's a vintage playing card, just some plain paper here. Got two journaling cards that I've stamped, put a little fabric on, a little pocket, a little flip open where you can tuck something in the uh, vintage lace, uh, seam binding lace, I believe, and two journaling cards, more pages. Get a nice belly band that I sewed with a card that you can write in on the inside places to write. Old typing pages that I've sewn together and put a tab on so there's a little pocket. The roses section, you've got some um, stationery, another pocket, two sheets of paper, rose paper that you can write on, keep notes. A little tuck spot and this is very vintage wrapping paper that I've zigzagged on it's really pretty we've got some pretty green gingham with an actual um, seed packet that I've backed a little bit to give it some more stability and two pages from a flower guidebook that you can use for cutting out or making tags lots of room to record flowers and such some paper that um, you can take notes on. We've got a little card here with a little hand stamping and a pocket. You open it up and you've got several sheets of paper. There's probably eight there, a little notepad. Got another pocket with a nice envelope, some more graph paper. Some stamped dot tea dyed paper, another place to write or adhere things. And this is one of my Viewmasters that has been sewn across to create a tuck spot. And this is Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree. This is something that you can use if you want to put some glue around the edges and place it down on the back side of something in this book. Uh, it would create a nice pocket. It's from a vintage children's book, a book about flowers actually, and some nice heavy cardstock with vintage sheets sewn on. And this is a pretty, pretty large pull out of old ledger paper. 
a little camera paper clip and get that back on. Some punched paper. We're in the vegetable section. You've got a recipe card, a little notepad, another full, another place to tuck things, pockets, uh, from a little golden book, uh, children's golden book, and stamped and places to write. Uh, one of those calendar pages I like to use. You can put little notes or stickers and whatnot in those. A couple more sheets of stamped tea dyed paper. You've got a really sweet tag here with some vintage fabric. Lots of room to journal. Another pocket. Plenty of room to write. Some vintage fabric. Scrapbooking paper. And this is a pocket that you can tuck something in an old quilt piece and then you have plenty of room to write children's book page got a cute little watering can little girl and then you have a place where you can tuck let me see if I can grab something so you can tuck a card or whatnot in there and then you flip it over and you can tuck another one in there and then you've got a pocket not for this big card but it's pretty a nice enough size back side you've got more places to write Getting near the end, got some more Edith Holden pages, another um, flower picture with tea dyed paper on the back so you can journal, more paper to write. This is one of those old cigarette cards, it's got little flowers on it. And you've got just another pocket here with some flowered note paper, plenty of places to write. Isn't that sweet? Two little birds in a teacup. And then this is from an Ideals magazine really pretty flowers and then you've got a fold out where you can adhere write and whatnot and then a sheet of hand stamped um, paper and this also has a covering and I don't didn't put anything in the weeds and pests except a couple original pages and then we're to the back end Oops. and I just added a couple sheets of paper that you can journal on a sheet that folds out with a tab and then I put this plain piece here because I found out yesterday that these pages when they rub up rub up against this scrapbook paper some of the ink comes off so that'll guard against that doing that and then you've got one of those little protector things so with this journal this garden journal or whatever type of journal you'd like to use it for you'll receive a goodie bag you'll receive the tie that I showed you earlier and then I will also include two pages of the um, hole protectors that I will lightly distress and then I'll include those so if you accidentally pull something or you see something's becoming weak you can go ahead and fix that and then I'll throw in uh, three or four of these tabs so if you want to cover some more um, of those edges that the labels for each section you can do that so once again lots of pockets it's over 100 pages you've got over 20 pockets and tuck spots um, if you take out the original pages, you probably would have a lot more room to um, put more things in. Once again, I will laminate this and stick it in, and then I'll probably protect that as well from just rubbing off on that. And then I also added some um, fabric there to add a little color, and there was some discoloration, so I went ahead and just took care of that by putting the fabric. So once again, this is the front. This one's a little dingy. It's got that patina. Um, I scrubbed it. I even took some bleach and I scrubbed it to get it clean. And then I went ahead and applied decoupage or mod podge on the front and back and a spine, let it dry just to add a little more um, durability. So if you do spill something, you might be able to wipe that right off. All right, this will be in my Etsy shop around five o'clock today. And I appreciate you watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, I'd love to hear some comments. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.